Welcome to Trading Lounge and the US stocks for the 15th of September and this particular stock here was in our, our first batch uh, of stocks that we were going through so we've had a few trades in, in this but um, yeah photo labs, um, 3D printing um, so fantastic uh, company and uh, new technology, new platforms and um, let's have a look. So I've had it as wave one and two here and then wave three here and then we've had this nice lazy sort of wave four here and then I've been building up here again as well in terms of wave one and two and three and four and we had a nice setup on this level here. This level by the way is well we've got the um, major level here at 100 then 10 well 1 2 and 3 10 20 and 30 make up group 1 and if we get support a tested support on group 1 then we'll go from number 3 to number 5 and that's where we are at the moment so um if you're trading this you may have taken some profit here um, or all profit it doesn't really matter we're still going to the upside so from wave 4 here we've got 1 and 2 and three and wave four here and wave four might get complicated this high here may come back down here to have another move as an A and a B and a C wave here before seeing further upside or it just could go straight up from here um, but either way from here as one and two and three and four and five we're still heading higher in this um, in this move here and also what I'm finding in, in this is that um, this move here is really quite large you know compared to well all of this you know so probably what we'll have to do is is relabel this in such a way that um, this will end up just how I've got this third wave here to, well this structure here one and two and three and four and five here the, the fifth wave here has got the extension in it so that there could probably just be the third wave and we'll look at these as one and two and then one and two and then three and four so we'll be looking at this stock here this can move up much higher here we've got our levels up here further so just to give you an idea we've got 180 here so first of all 100 is a major level and then 200 and halfway between two major levels is always the medium level so in this case the 150 here I call the 150 uh, the midpoint or the 50 the midpoint um, and then we've got well the Fibonacci numbers go 1, 2, 3, 5 and 8 here but also with 8 we've got what we call group 2 so group 2 this is minor group 2 so that would be 72 and 65 in here this will be the next next levels there that would be looking at these are all weird numbers but um, they work in fractal terms and um, and they work with Elliot really well because they expand with it from from you know major levels to medium to minor to uh, sub levels and then micro levels. So there's um, it just works perfectly. Let's, let's clean this up here. Anyway, I like this stock. So um, and some others materializes the other one that I really like as well. Um, anyway there we go for that um i'll just check the four hour chart here for this yeah let's just see this develop here we may get another position in here if this market uh i mean this looks corrective here it could be wave one and two here then wave one and two and then going up here but otherwise it's an a wave a b wave and a c wave and finishes here and then we come back down through here and then we can go up again so if that's the case then we can bring this one in and go long over here but we need that to come down here first so don't don't take that as a to, to buy right here because you will end up being a being a trap for young players yeah so basically this one and two and three and four here well, i've done all the right things but i can see that this is really expanding to the upside here so um yeah we'll need to make adjustments for that not a problem though 165 65 72 and 80 that make up group two and i always like just to put a splash of color in there on the number 72 
72 is such a great number. Part of the nine family, the seven and the two is nine. The nineness of it all, if you know mathematics a bit. Um, okay, so um, let's move along. Uh, this stock uh, here is um, sort of next generation therapies, um, providing comprehensive data on each patient um, in for the immune uh, systems and cancers and so on. So they're data collectors of each human being. So um, yeah, big stuff. Yeah, I mean, huge. Um, okay, so uh, this particular stock here. Um, I'd better go back. This is a four-hour chart. Let's go back to the daily chart here. Sorry about that. So we've got our uh, March uh, correction here, and we're just way above that, you know. So um, I can count five waves up through to here, and I can count five waves up through to here. Um, the, we're at a major level here, 20. Um, so 10 and 20 and then 30. So the thing here is that this particular pattern here, which we'll just drill into now, is in three waves to the downside. So this is in three waves. So probably one and two and three and four and five. They get a bit dodgy when counts can get a bit dodgy and you've got to kind of have a kind of accommodate certain things um, because of the you know lower volume and those sorts of things. But um, in a nutshell, an A wave and a B wave and a C wave here. From that high to this low here, this is the... Um, I mean, if this was the S&P 500, I could go onto a tick chart and really pull it apart, but because the volume's not there, it makes it a little bit sort of trickier um, to count. But um, we're above the 61.8% mark here. Um, it could be a trap where we have a larger correction here and we pull back down further. Um, so that's possible. Um, but it is looking in its own little way. It is looking kind of healthy up here. But we'd look for a classic trading levels pattern sitting on 22. So you'd need to go on to the intraday to, to, to see that. And this would be the pattern that you're looking for. So if this was across the number two here, then this would be the arrival where it is now. The reaction, the first high above the level, the ABC pattern, then sitting back over here and, and developing support. This little pattern just in here, if you've got a really keen eye, would be the same pattern as this larger pattern in here. So this whole big pattern here, should you should see that shoved in there, fitted in there. You want that, you want that number two there support. So if you found that as support, you could get a small position and then look to add on top of 23, the top of group one, Looking for the classic trading levels pattern again here. If you're a um, uh, if you're a, if you're more of a, a longer term hold and you would want to be going up to the 30 area up here because that's where we can push up to, um, then get a small amount here. Once the support comes in on the 22, um, and if it pulls back down here, don't worry about it too much because we've got this corrective pattern here. And if we get support on 23, still add again as well. So um, I like this. This is good. Okay, let's move. So this particular company here, Pure Storage, uh, this Californian company, um, develops all flash data storage, hardware and software products. Obviously, it's struggling to go above the, the highs over at this point. Um, but uh, we'll see um, because... The move up here, I can count as one and two. I have to say this is a little bit dodgy, but one and two here and three and four and five to the third wave. Bit of a bit of wave three here, all the way over here for four and then five waves up here for wave five here. Now I can count this down as an A wave, a B wave and a C wave on the low here, but I don't have any evidence of a move to the upside here. And it's not a really strong looking stock at this stage. So I would need really need to see, you know, I really need to see a, a nice impulse wave to the upside here. Here before we, you know, before we do anything here for this, so um, it's just not there just yet. I'll just go to the four-hour chart and count it down for you, but um, I don't particularly like it. So, uh, and th the thing I like about this one though is that this is the high, and this is in three waves, so it does make a nice corrective pattern straight off the bat. And I can count clearly one and two and three and four to this point. Um, I don't know if five is here or this should be five here and this is another four and five. So I was just assuming this is one and two and three here, wave four here and then wave five down for this. Um, 
One of the things here I can note is that you can see that the wave one here, then wave three, then wave five here, it's actually got, it's, it's, it's ranging uh, deeper to the downside each time, extending. So we need to be mindful of that I don't, I can't see a nice impulse wave here. So this could just get worse from this point. So I don't know, I, I don't know if we're going to be coming down here for this just yet. So nothing to see here, folks, for this one, but I'd still need to present it and, and, uh, and bag it. So there we go. So this particular company uh, here is from Israel. Is this the, yes, this is from Israel, this uh, company. And they're specializing in, um, in uh, disease treatment at a cellular level. Um, so we can see here from here when they've been traveling here. I'm not quite sure how to count this, but we'll talk about it for a moment. Obviously it's had discovery discovery one um, this counts down here as nicely as a five wave structure for wave a and then wave b and wave c now uh, i'm just taking a guess here at, at i mean it's, it's, ob it's obviously a correction um, not a problem um, uh, yeah so uh, and then we've got five waves up into this space here i'm not sure if we should call this I'm not sure if we should call this wave one and wave two and then another wave one and wave two of a different degree rather. So this one could be larger. Um, so it could be just sort of impulsing to the upside on these discoveries. Um, but what I said, so this wave one and two and one and two here of a, of a smaller degree or larger degree, doesn't matter, or even wave three here. I don't think it's wave three because I better move that behind this one here. That gives me the secondary count and I'll just put, um, oh, well, I can use that one just over here for that. And I will sort these other ones out a bit later. But um, one of the things that I wanted to, to talk about here with this is that um, uh, that this move down through here is corrective. So that means at some point we're going to be taking this high out here. Now, does it mean that we have all of this as the A wave here? I mean, that's already pulled back down to the 61.8% from this low to that high here. So I think it's done and dusted, but um, it's a bit tricky to see an impulse wave here. I can see one, two, three, four, five here, and then the correction here. I'm not sure what this is all about here. Uh, and then another five waves up to here. So we could look at it as an A wave to here, and then an A, B, and C to the B wave here, and then five waves up for the C wave here. So if it is corrective, we shouldn't see another high here. We shouldn't see another high go up here. So we should see this actually come back down here before going up again. But if that is breached, then we need to be long because this will be the beginning of a trend going to the upside uh, here for this. So let's just go to the four hour chart. I mean, it's a pretty wild chart, this, um, but I like it. Um, so I'm looking at the the flat side of it as an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave to the top here. Now we've had this move down through here, and we've got this move back up to the 61.8% mark here. Bit tricky to count this in here, so I won't bother about it too much, but I'll just gather some more price action within here. I'm sort of hoping that we would see a move down uh, here with this uh, before we see another up move there. And then what that will do is that will give us that top there where we can go long from at that point. So we're not there yet with that. We need, we're need part of the setups there. Um, but essentially we can go long above that top. All I'm trying to do is find a better uh, a better entry here for this so a little bit unsure about it but anyway there it is I like the bigger picture of it um, it's well placed it's doing all the right things let's just uh, see how it goes I'm just going to move this out of the way here so I remember that um, if it got triggered I, we didn't trade it at that point I need to see a clear top here so anywhere in here um, would do at this point so I'll just uh, save that and move on to the next stock. So this is a an American uh, computer uh, company, and it was uh, founded in 1985. Uh, it's got about 60 uh, 6,000 employees and turns over a billion dollars in revenue. So yeah, it's global in 30 countries with 80 offices. So it's it's a you know it's it's a robust. Um, 
uh, company. It'll probably um, come in at, at, at good value as well in, to, in terms of um, all its financial figures. So it's taken out the high here and uh, the count would be one and two and one and two and three and four and five for the third wave. So we've got the fourth wave pulling back, which would pull back 38.2% from this wave two low here for that. So we're kind of on there already. What I'm not quite sure about is that the move down here, is that just the A wave or the B wave and C wave? It could quite easily be... Um, the B wave sitting here and the A wave sitting here and the C wave 4 is sitting here, but I don't have any evidence of that. So I can't move on that just yet. I'll just show you in here uh, this. And one of the reasons that I've labeled an A and a B and a C here for wave 4 is that even if this spike didn't occur down here, let's just say that it flowed. Well, let's have a little look on the hourly. I'll show you what I've done, I can't see on the tick. So we've got one and two here and three here. I could go four and five down here. And then, um, but even if I took it from this point here, where would that leave us? That would be, I would still need a 38.2% retracement level from even that low there, from that low there. So that that's one and two here. So even if I looked at this as one and two and wave three here and four here and five here, but even as a wave four, um, it still pulled up 61.8% here. So let alone taking it from the spike here. Because I don't particularly like spikes that much. I'd rather just follow the volume data through. But um, so it's a good case for this being an A and a B and a C wave here. And this does look rather impulsive to the upside. But I just want to see how the rally goes on the S&P and the NASI, um this week. And, and we'll get some sort of feeling of it because I, I think we've got further to go to the downside. Um, I d we need to see that there. But um, so nothing ready yet to do here. Um, from that high to that low here, the... 50-60% retracement level is on 90, which is a medium level, halfway between two major levels, and 80 and 100. So if we've got support here, we can do that. Or um, if I see a pattern here that I can, you know, work with, um, with safety in mind, then, then we'll work that. But otherwise, I'll just leave for the time being. Um, yeah, so that's okay. Alrighty, uh, on to the next so this is PayPal, and um, from the March lows here, PayPal and Square are my sort of favourites on the financial things in regards to to uh, to to banks. Um, there is another one we'll be looking at, Silvergate, which is well a subsidiary of 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 a of its um, bank. But um, anyway. Uh, this counts quite nicely as five waves to the upside. And as I've said before with um, some of these US stocks, some of them count nicely to five waves up and some of them count nicely to three waves up. Maybe I've made a mistake in, on one of the batches and one of them is wrong uh, as such. Uh, which one at this stage? Um, we'll see. But uh, some of them I can see clearly have got wave three tops. And, and this one here, I can, you know, it's quite clear to me that it is a five wave top here fifth wave top but you know at the end of the day it doesn't really matter because what we'd be looking for is we've got the you know the classic trading levels pattern will save our, our butts because we've got the arrival the reaction the first high above the level and then we'll have our correction and then we'll enter over here I mean it doesn't matter what the count is this is what we're looking for and when we look at take this picture and, and apply it here we'll just Put this back here so we've got the arrival the reaction the first high above the level so that's our this was in our old we've already looked at this stock before in in the old batch so but still um so that becomes our entry point so the question comes now is can we get a better entry point than this and probably so so what we'll look for here is this is probably just the first leg down. We'll see some sort of leg come back up and we'll see this. Then we can move that down to this leg, down to here. And then we may be even be able to get into here because what will happen with the stock market and this correction is that currently there's no trades, very few, and then suddenly they'll, everything is tradable. You know, that's the way, that's the way it goes. So, um, 
But we will be able to see if this matures and the S&P and the NASI has an A and a B and a C in its own way, um, and we get five waves down to, you know, wherever it finishes, then we'll be looking for entries, not right on the low. Yeah, we can do that, but what's the point? We wait for five waves up to confirm it, pull back, and be, then we get in because we got five waves in that direction, opposite direction of the trend, of the main trend here. We get five waves here in the opposite direction of the main trend coming down. Then we'll get a correction and then we'll get another five waves up. And even if it's only an ABC a, pattern to the upside, at least we can get our trades to close to break even at that point by moving the stop or taking part profit and all those sort of things. So that's why I wait here. Because if you're risking 1% per trade, my first job is to reduce that 1% to half a percent. It's never really quite half percent. It's normally a bit less or a bit more and those sorts of things. But that's my job. My first step, 1% risk and then down into half a percent. Okay, uh, one more stock. Okay, Rockwell Automation is an American industrial automation information technology and um, 23,000 people employs 23,000 people in 100 countries worldwide. So um, it's humongous. Now, the COVID correction, we, in this stock here, we can count five waves up. So we've got one and two here. That's pretty clear. Then one and two. And then I've got wave three here and four here. And then one and two and three and four and five for the third wave. You could count this both two ways here. You can count, it doesn't really matter. I can see that I can put this four to here to here. It doesn't really matter, but it gives us this wave five here. But one of the things we can see here is that the market was quite perky here. And now it looks like a drunken man standing at the bar trying to hold himself up. So um, we can see that sort of weakness come in. But um, yeah, it's possible to have wave three up here. And the reason for that is because between wave two and wave three here, which I can't pull apart just yet, but um, I can count one and two here and three here. So there, I'm just assuming that there is three and four in, in here where that gap is here. Um, but if that's not the case, then this becomes one and two here and three here and four here and then five here for that. So I need to double check on that. Either way, it looks quite impulsive down through here, so we should see and uh, treat this as an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave coming down here. At the same time, that's where we'll go long. Um, hopefully, we can get to the second high here at some point in time, and if we can see all the markets around the world have got this simple ABC pattern happening, and we're getting an impulse wave coming up from those lows, well, then we can bring that down and get even a better position at that point and look to build in on these, you know, build in onto the next move to the upside uh, here. But we just need to be cautioned, careful, because uh, normally with group one, two, and this is group one here, which is one, two, and three, if the number two within group one becomes the retested resistance, which is not at the moment support, but if it becomes the retested resistance, then it's highly likely the market's going to be pulled down to the closest largest number, which will be the 200 at that point. So that's what we need. That's what that's what the number two is good for once the market's been going up there. So it didn't quite get it here. Trading below it is not resistance. Checking back up is the resistance. If it fails and makes a new low, then it's resistance. So, um, yeah. So that's it, folks. Um, yeah. Yep, I'll just leave it at that. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers.